hello friends welcome to electrical bytes and in this video we are going to discuss the next topic in the digital circuits that is the 8051 microcontroller so let us start so the first question is so 8051 microcontroller has a cpu of so the options are 4 bit 8 bit 16 bit or 64 bit so the size of a cpu in 8051 microcontroller is 8 bit so option b is correct next is 8051 microcontroller has dash rom and dash ram so here they are asking the size of a rom and ram so the options are 4 kilo by, uh, so 4 kilo kb of rom and uh, 128 byte of uh, ram next is 8 kilobit and uh, 128 bytes 4 kilobit and 64 bytes and 8 kilobytes and 64 bytes so the correct option is uh, a 8051 microcontroller has 4 kilobyte of rom and 120 by 128 bytes of ram so option 1 is correct next is the number of ports in a 8051 microcontroller so uh, in in a microcontroller we have 32 io pins so uh, so there are total uh, uh, four ports so each port gets gets uh, eight io pins so 32 is divided into four ports so option c four ports is correct so it has uh, four ports and each port has eight io pins so option c is correct next is the number of timers or counters used in 8051 microcontroller so the options are 1 2 3 4 so the correct option is it has two uh, timers or counters and the size of timer or counter is 16 bit so option b is correct next is a 8051 microcontroller has re a dash register banks and uh, with the dash registers in each bank so the options are two register bank and uh, four uh, register in each bank next four and four next four and six and next four and eight so the correct option is a 8051 microcontroller has four uh, register banks and each register bank has eight registers in it so option d is correct four and eight next is the size of program counter and uh, data pointer in 8051 micro microcontroller are respectively so the options are 4 bit and 4 bit 4 bit and 8 bit 8 bit and 8 bit or 16 bit and 16 bit so the correct option is uh, the uh, program counter and uh, data pointer both have a size of 16 bit so option d is correct next is the size of program status word and stack pointer in a mic in a 8051 microcontroller are respectively so the options are 4 bit and 4 bit 4 bit and 8 bit 8 bit and 8 bit or 16 or 16 bit so the correct option is 8 bit and 8 bit so both the, the program status word and stack pointer has a size of 8 bit so option c is correct next is the number of interrupts in 8051 microcontroller are so the options are two interrupts three interrupts four or five so the correct option is option d five it has five interrupts in a uh, the 8051 microcontroller and also uh, here it is given the uh, name of the interrupts so we have int 0 int 1 tf0 tf1 or ri or ti so these are five type of interrupts used in 8051 microcontroller next is which of following register is used to enable or disable the interrupt sources so the options are interrupt priority next is enable all interrupt enable or tcon that is timer or counter so the correct option is uh, the register which is used to enable dis or disable the interrupt sources is the interrupt enable so option c is correct next is uh, alu the arithmetic logic unit in 8051 microcontroller can perform arithmetic and logic function on dash variables so the options are 32 bit 4 bit 8 bit or 16 bit so it can perform the ALU operation on uh, 8 bit variables so option C is correct next is in order to enable the interrupt set registers so which of following is set to 1 so the options are uh, the interrupt enable is set to 1 or an 
enable all is set to one or program counter is set to one or program status word is set to one so the correct option is uh, in order to enable the interrupt set registers so we need to set uh, the enable all bit to one so option uh, and i mean the option a that is interrupt enable is set to one option a is correct next is in order to disable to the to the whole interrupt system clear the bits off so in order to disable the interrupt system what we need to do so options are uh, set uh, interrupt enable to zero next uh, enable all to zero program counter to zero or program status vote to zero so the correct option is in order to dissolve uh, in order to disable all the uh, the interrupt system so, so the enable all is set to zero option b is correct next is so uh, here they have asked the interrupt zero or interrupt one in the 8051 microcontroller are are the inter internal interrupts external interrupts timers or oscillator so uh, so the correct option is they are the external interrupts in 8051 microcontroller next is the vector addresses of external interrupts i int int zero and int one are respectively so the options are uh, double zero double zero h uh, triple zero three h triple zero three h and double zero one b h next is triple zero three h or double zero one three h or option d double zero one h or double zero two three so the correct option is the vector addresses of uh, the external interrupts into zero and into one in the rom is option c triple zero three h and double zero one three h so option c is correct next is the internal interrupts of a eight zero five one microcontroller r so the options are i and ea that is interrupt enable or enable all next is int one and int two timer zero or timer one or none so the correct option is the internal interrupts are a timer zero and timer one option g c is correct next is the vector addresses in the rom of internal interrupts timer 0 and timer 1 are respectively so here they are asking the location in the rom of the internal interrupts so the options so the correct option is triple zero bh and double zero one bh so option d is correct next is xtal 1 and xtal 2 in a, in a 8051 microcontroller are the so options are internal interrupts external interrupts timers or oscillators so these are the oscillators so option d is correct next is the type of oscillator used in 8051 microcontroller is so the options are audio frequency radio frequency fixed frequency or beat frequency so we know that the in, in the 8051 microcontroller we use crystal oscillator so it is a fixed frequency oscillator so option c fixed frequency is correct next is the instruction used during stack operation r so options are set b or clear move uh, move and clear set b and jump b or is is it option b option d push and pop so the correct option is the instruction used during stack operation r push and pop option d is correct next is uh, the two true bidirectional port of 8051 microcontroller is so options are p0 p1 p2 and p3 so the correct option is p0 it is a true bi bidirectional port of 8051 microcontroller so we have basically four ports so these are out among the four p0 is the true bidirectional port of 8051 microcontroller so option a is correct next is which of following four port is or are called as quasi bidirectional ports so options are p1 p2 p3 or all of the above so the correct option is all of the above so except p0 all the other ports are quasi bidirectional ports so option d is correct so these are some of the uh, mcqs on 8051 microcontroller so if you really like the content so if you, uh, so please do like share and comment below the video so and uh, please do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon our channel name is electrical bytes so please do subscribe and also we have made a group in telegram so you can join that group uh, in the uh, and the, in the description box i have given the link of the telegram telegram group
so you can join and uh, get the latest update about the latest videos and also the mcqs so thank you